Hello, my name is Robin Hodes, and I'm the Policy and Research Director at Transparency International. I'm pleased to be able to explain to you the Corruption Perceptions Index, which Transparency International has been publishing since 1995. TICPI is a survey of surveys in which we focus on perceptions of corruption in the public sector. In this year's edition of the CPI, 2009, we have 13 surveys from 10 different organizations. Now, how do we put the survey together? What we do is we gather information from these 10 organizations. This information is about perceptions of corruption as developed by business and country experts and also by business people around the world. We focus on perceptions of corruption because it's very difficult to measure corruption itself. Perceptions are an important proxy for corruption, however, because what we found is that perceptions really do matter. They matter for investment and they're also related to economic growth. Inversely, we see that perceptions of corruption um, are an opposite of good governance measures, such as freedom of the press. Transparency International has been publishing the CPI since 1995, and we continue to believe it's a very valuable tool. The CPI puts corruption into context. It gives us an overview of how serious and the depth of the dimension of the problem of corruption around the world. However, it's important to see that the CPI is not the full picture of corruption. TI's chapters around the world have been engaged in very innovative research, from the global down to the local level, looking at corruption in many areas, such as administration, in their integrity systems, in corporate commitments to fight corruption, in the supply side of corruption, and so on. And this helps us round out the picture of the extent and the form of corruption. Here at Transparency International, we've also developed a complementary tool called the Bribe Payers Index. If the Corruption Perception Index focuses on corruption in the public administration, in the public sector, which is the demand side, we felt it was very important to also understand the supply side. And this is what the Bribe Payers Index helps us do. In 2009, we have some worrying results. We find again that the majority of the world's countries score lower than five on our index. This means that no region of the world is immune from corruption. Again, I'd like to stress that it's very important to look at corruption in a holistic sense, to look at both sides of the corruption equation. If we take all of the assessments of corruption that we've developed at TI, that our stakeholders have developed, and that we've been working on, we have a strong empirical basis, an evidence base, upon which we can fight corruption around the world. Using this, we can benchmark trends, we can point to legal gaps, and we can point to best practice as we move forward in the fight against corruption. Thank you very much.